Hey everybody, uh, today we are back with something pretty cool. Um, this is going to be our second review, and what we're looking at today is the Arduino Starter Kit. Um, I picked this up off Amazon. Uh, this particular kit isn't actually made anymore. It's the Arduino Starter Kit that's actually made by uh, the company that makes the Arduino. So, um, they don't make a kit like this anymore. You can still get it on Amazon. I was able to get it on Amazon with Prime Shipping, so they're not hard to find necessarily, but they're not in, they're not being manufactured anymore. So, uh, what this kit is, is basically introduction to uh, microcontrollers, um, using them to control your environment. Uh, this is the Arduino Uno. R3. Um, it's the the board that comes with the kit. Um, as you can see, that's the microcontroller right there in the center. Um, this Arduino Uno basically breaks that out for you uh, so that you have access to the different pins um, much easier. It, it includes uh, some firmware on there to make programming for it much simpler. Um, and overall, it, it's, it's a pretty sweet package. It's pretty small, so you can fit it where you need to. Um, there are some limitations on power supply, which I'll get into, but uh, overall, it's, it's a pretty sweet package. Um, this review is kind of going to be mixed of a review of the, the Arduino Uno itself and the actual starter kit that I got it in. So uh, this is the Uno itself. Um, in the kit, you get the Uno. Um, you also get a wooden base and bread breadboard with it um, that you actually adhere to it. Um, the Uno itself it comes with some bolts, actually bolts right next to it, which is pretty sweet. Um, the jumper wires have no problems reaching over from the Arduino to the breadboard uh, with this setup. And it keeps everything from coming loose, so that's a pretty pretty neat feature that they included um, to save on materials and help the environment I'm guessing um, they actually use this to laser cut some of the some of the other parts that you use um, the feet for this actually punched out of here as well so um, they were uh, thinking about the environment I think uh, they were conscious of that so uh, moving on that's the Arduino itself uh, if we take a look at the kit, it says everything you need for your first Arduino projects. And they are not joking about that. This comes with a ton of parts. Um, if you look at the cover, they have some illustrations of every, of some of the stuff that's in here. Um, you really get all that stuff. There really is a motor, a servo. Um, so motor, servo, a piezo. Um, some potentiometers, a MOSFET, a whole bunch of stuff in here. So a bunch of LEDs, uh, more resistors than you'll ever probably need, um, at least for these projects for sure. Uh, there's a whole inventory of what you do get over here. I'll just leave that up for a second. Um, it's a ton of parts. Um, if we actually open it up and take a look inside, Probably the most important thing you'll get is the Arduino Projects book. This is a very high quality book. Um, it really walks you through, as you can see right there, that's one of the uh, diagrams they use to show you how to actually wire the circuits. Um, there is a, a schematic down here if you're if familiar with how to read electrical diagrams. Um, I've done some electronics work before, but nothing this in depth so uh, that really would not have helped me much um, so I'm glad that they broke it out and made it more accessible with the actual images here um, this is one of the later projects where you're, you're using an LCD um, this is project 11 out of 15 um, what you're doing here is actually constructing a magic 8 ball so there's a tilt sensor and just as a demonstration if you went like that with the project um, it would randomize the output on the screen and give you one of the classic Magic 8-Ball responses. So 
it was pretty cool. Um, you do build up to that gradually, so uh, they don't have you doing anything like that right away. Um, if we look at one of the earlier projects here, let's just start with project one. just a simple circuit with as you can see an LED and a switch so that's what they have you starting with at first the Arduino all it's doing in this instance is actually just providing power there's no micro controller action at all in the circuit so um, as you build up you, it introduces more features it actually walks you through the programming as well because um, there's really two sides to it there's the physical side, which would be the schematics. And then there's the actual software side of programming the Arduino and the microcontroller. Um, so it does cover all of that. And I, I feel it does it fairly well. Um, I This is my first experience with a microcontroller. Um, and I did not have any problems kind of ripping through these projects pretty quick. Um, I'll probably go back and do some just to pick up more of the language, more of the programming language. It's, I believe, derivative of C++, uh, which is nice because that's a fairly common language uh, for other applications as well, so uh, there's no harm in learning it. So that's the guide. It's a very nice full color, full page guide. Um, if we take out the shelf, uh, you can see the box for the Arduino which is empty now because I've already taken it out. Um, then we have the DC motor and servo. Those are probably the most interesting pieces to me. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing more projects with those. Um, then on this one we get the breadboard and some jumper wires. Um, I actually I, I had my own jumper wires so I didn't have to use those. But the breadboard is, is a nice quality. Um, I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, the wires seem to go in nicely and, and not pop back out. Um, there were a couple of electronic components that had a tendency to work themselves out or not want to stick in, but I think those are more issues with the components themselves and not the breadboard. The breadboard seems to be pretty nice. Um, if you don't have it mounted on this board, um, you can separate out the rails for positive and negative voltage. Um, so you can use it that way as well. Um, there is a liquid crystal display included, which you use in the Magic 8-Ball project. Um, I was actually pretty surprised at how easy it was to program this. Um, I assumed it would be quite a task because of all the pins, but it was fairly easy. Most of those are, are ground, actually, so uh, that, that, that project was pretty fun. That was one of my favorites. Um, it comes with a USB A to B cable, uh, which is what you use to actually connect it to your computer and program it. And then it comes with a, a fairly large drawer of just miscellaneous electronic components. Um, this is all your resistors, your PZO, uh, potentiometer, multiple potentiometers. Um, most of the stuff they give you more than what you actually need for the projects, which is nice. Um, you can build a pretty decent electronic stockpile uh, just with what comes in the set so that's nice um, these were my own jumper wires they don't actually come in the kit I, I like these ones better um, they seem to work better for prototyping breadboards um, in the bottom of the kit they do include some paper like punch outs so this is once you build the circuit on the breadboard you actually lay this on top and those holes line up with the LEDs and then the switch. So it gives kind of a more interactive approach to it. Um, I think that would really appeal to a younger audience. I didn't, I didn't find much interest in, in it too much. I mean, it says system ready, engage hyperdrive. Um, I found that a little bit cheesy, but uh, it, it was a nice touch that they threw those in. Uh, they did only throw them in for some of the projects. Um, there's that one, which was a very early project. Uh, this one, which was for one of the later motor projects. Um, there's a piranha plant from Super Mario Brothers, which I'm 
kind of surprised they were able to somehow license and use. Um, there you go, now you can see it. So I was surprised about that, but that's pretty cool. Um, the idea there is that you actually take it and it slides through the frames and kind of creates a little cartoon of the piranha plant. Um, that, that's one of the only projects I didn't do just because I didn't want to waste these materials. Um, at the moment, I'm actually planning on, on throwing this up on eBay now that I'm done with it. Um, now, it's been a very good teacher, um, but I'm looking to do some bigger projects with some more motors and stuff, so I think I'm going to probably just post this up and, and have someone else who is looking to learn the, the system get their chance. So, some more, uh, I believe these are capacitors. Uh, these go with electrical components. And that's that. That's what you get in the kit. There's some debris down there from punching stuff out of the laser cut. Um, it has some pretty nice touches. Like this is on the inside of the cover of the box. Um, I mean, they, they really put some effort into creating this. Um, the whole system is actually made in Italy, uh, which is impressive. Um, even the, the circuit board itself, if you get a genuine Arduino, um, it's produced in Italy, so uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, it's it's pretty cool to actually write code that interacts with the world around you. Um, that's the, the big ideal of the uh, Arduino, is that you can actually interact with the physical world. Um, you can use it to drive motors. Um, servos, which are, are just a, a subsection of motors. Um, it comes with a ton of sensors, temperature sensors, light sensors. Um, so you can really, you can take input from your world and then cause an effect, um, change your world based on that. So that, that's the big appeal of it. So, um, Moving on, there was a pretty good range of projects. Uh, starting in the beginning, uh, you're just driving an LED, like I said, um, with a switch so you can turn it on and off. But later on, you, you are spinning motors, um, introducing second uh, voltage sources. The motor actually takes more voltage than the Arduino can put out, so you need to use a 9 volt battery or something comparable. Um, it does include an adapter for a 9 volt battery in the electronics components, so uh, they got you covered there. You just have to supply your own battery. Um, if we go right into the pros, uh, it comes with so much stuff. Um, there's way more parts included than what you need. Uh, you probably use 20 resistors throughout. And as you can see, it comes with a heat, large variety of a ton of different resistors. Um, same thing with diodes. You, you only use one diode in a project, but it comes with, what is that, like five or six, six additional ones. Um, the one I use is punched out, and then there's six additional, so um, they, de they definitely got you covered with parts, um, multiple potentiometers, most projects you you would only need one for um, capacitors of multiple different sizes um, so it's pretty sweet um, it's a lot of fun uh, actually when I was in school I, I did some programming and I really didn't care for it um, it just didn't seem to have much point the projects we were given were stupid and there was no real benefit to doing them. Uh, with this project, I could really foresee actually using it. Um, you can do things like build RC cars, um, quadcopters, things like that, all driven by the microcontroller on the Arduino. Um, and I could easily see how that's that could be accomplished with the programming language that they give you. Um, it, it's very easy to get a hold of. Um, it has a lot of real-world uses. Um, some of the examples they gave were using a servo to lock a box or a door, um, things like that. So 
uh, it does seem a lot more practical than just software coding, uh, which I always had trouble wrapping my head around just because it's not as fun. <laughs> um, the components themselves that make up the kit are actually fairly cheap, that's another plus. Um, the Arduino itself is only $22 on Amazon with prime shipping, um, and that's for the latest version, the Uno R3. Um, there's a Leonardo out there, which I guess is a later version, but for now this is going to be the most compatible um, standard version, so this is what you should probably stick with if you're a beginner. Um, they do have some smaller ones out there too, like the Nano, uh, but again, those are less standard. Uh, for a beginner, you're going to want to go with the Uno R3. Um, so that's only 20 bucks. Uh, if you want to buy more resistors or something, that's very cheap. Uh, motors are cheap. Um, once you get into the robotics type stuff, like for quadcopters, you'd be looking at some money, but uh, even that's fairly inexpensive for what you're doing. Um, so that's nice. Uh, moving on to the cons. For this kit, uh, I like I said, I got it off Amazon Prime shipping. I actually paid to upgrade to one day, uh, which was $6 for the shipping, um, but total shipping included, it was $130. Um, so it is fairly expensive, but keeping in mind how much you get for it, I, I'd say it was probably worth it. Um, in just a couple of days, I feel comfortable with the Arduino platform. Um, as far as programming and everything, that, that book was worth quite a bit of money uh, just to teach me the basics. Um, if there is one bad thing about the book, it would have to be the binding. If you take a look at the binding, it's actually separating out from the book already. Um, and again, that's after two days. So that's that's kind of inexcusable. Uh, they probably went with some environmentally safe glue or something like that. So uh, that's probably why, but it's really kind of inexcusable. I, I don't like having a book that falls apart after two days, one reading. So, But the... the quality of the actual pages is great. So if you have like book binding glue or I don't know if they make that, but if they do and you have some, um, just glue it back together, you're good to go. Um, the content in the book, um, I, I was able to rip through it in about two days. So I wouldn't mind if there was more projects in it, um, but they, they do cover a ton in here. So I, I can't complain too much about content. They cover it well. Um, they get really in depth about what you're doing in the code. Um, if we take a look at one where, let's see. So anytime you see a space in the code, it's not because you're actually supposed to enter or anything. It's because it lines it up with these comments over here so that um, its explanations line up with the code. You can see it's line 9 space 10. Um, that's only because these are the its suggestions are spaced out. Um, it goes really in depth with the code and, and really helps you understand what's going on. Um, they never just introduce something new without uh, giving you some background. Even, even if it's something simple like uh, if and then else, um, it really does go in and explain. Not on this page because it's a later project, but um, it does go in and explain those. Uh, there's kind of like some for dummies hints down at the bottom. Um, that reminded me of the for dummies books with like the little bomb icons and stuff. So uh, that's what that reminded me of. Um, there are limitations on what you can power the Arduino from. Um, it requires either USB or a proprietary adapter. So uh, they don't include one of those adapters, so that's a limitation there. Um, and you do have to connect it to a computer to program it. Uh, but those are really the only downsides. So, like I said, I'm probably going to throw this up on eBay uh, to help somebody else learn. Um, and I'm going to move on to bigger and better Arduino projects. So I may post some videos about that. Uh, if you're interested, feel free to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching my video.